Welcome to episode 13 of the Planet Base series. And if you're wondering why I'm on this menu, it's uh, because I kind of made a mistake <laughs> and I accidentally let in uh, some people. So I wanted to check out who we got. We got a biologist, a worker, and another worker. I kind of meant to turn on uh, traders but I seem to have turned on colonists. So there we go. I was just thinking it wouldn't be bad to have more in the way of workers. That means we'd have more people out here working on getting ore. So that's always good. Um, I do wonder if I should remove this. This uh, hospital. I like that it's so close to the beginning of the words uh the start of the colony that said i think it would be more beneficial if we connected these to uh storage right because right now it seems like it's try preferring to come here whereas i think being able to go straight there would make more sense and maybe they'd bring in the ore right to here and then walk in I don't know where I'd rather have the medical supplies or the this room. I guess we could see where we could place it. It's again one of those that's going to um, be an end thing. It ends the where these people can go, like where I can expand to. I guess is the word I'm actually looking for here. <laughs> So it kind of would have been cool to come off of the lab area. That would have made sense. I could put it here, but that wasn't really what I had planned there. That wouldn't be bad. I wouldn't be too upset about that. I'd actually wouldn't mind putting it off of here after like off of this or something like that. But that would mean we'd had an area without like a medical bed for some time while they get everything rebuilt. Mm, decisions, decisions. I would like to make maybe one of these, um, we don't have one of these multi-domes uh, and I wouldn't mind having one to connect this. The more routes people take to make them move around quicker, the better. Um, that was one hideous shape though, <laughs> right in here. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be opposed to putting this guy here though, to kind of connect stuff. Let's go ahead and start there. That's somewhere where they can go to have more fun besides looking at plants and TV screens that constantly have the news. All right, and then I've considered putting in a plant. How much do they take though? Just regular pine tree produces oxygen during the day, consumes some oxygen at night. Colonist can relax by looking at it for a bit. So we have a pine tree and an oak tree. And we have a trader. It's just come and landed. What do you got for us? If I know where I'm at in my colony. All right, so we really need a constructor bot. I would really like that. So how much do we have? Six, 160, what's your commission though? 60? Bah. Uh, that's so much more expensive though. Pretty much everybody has one of these techs on them at any given point. Nah, I have a rule. Nothing above 50, preferably 40 and below. So get out of here. Come back when you have better presses. Alright, so we've almost got this. We just need somebody to come out and build, which I bet you is this lady. She's gonna come out here and give this a build. Whoa, well, look how big it is. It's a good sized windmill. That's the large. I think there's an even bigger one that's available. These are small. So this guy can produce at max 50. 
units of power, which uh, we are consuming 80. So if this guy is at max, it can almost cover what we have and what we need. We have all of our collectors full, so that means I will probably want to get another one of those down. As long as we're filling them in the, during the day, there might as well be more until we're not filling them, you know? Just to get us through those nights where there's no wind, which it's prone to do, just to be mean to me, it seems. So now we have these two metal um, producers, which is super nice because they're splitting the orb evenly between the two so they can be producing them at double the rate. We now have three bots, which is super exciting. Um, and we're working on spares. We're still out of them all the time. I mean, look how much we have that takes spares. All of these windmills and all of these solar panels all take the spares all the time, it seems. Um, and so it makes sense. Oh, look! This guy's uh, fixing himself. Can we hop in? Take a look. Yep, he's getting himself a, a repair without having to take the time of our engineer. And we're good! And he's off. Off to carry stuff. Even with three bots we still have stuff kind of piling up here. But I imagine they just harvest this, hopefully? What's this mean? Low production, low maintenance. Got it. So it won't produce all that often, but it won't take a lot out of my biologists. So that's that's okay with me. Ooh, we're gonna get our multi-dome done. We're running out of spares. Yes, we do that on occasion. I wanted to make this other path, but they will build themselves into a corner. They're not smart enough to think that maybe they should be on the outside of it. Which is fine. Just means uh, I gotta do it in stages and then remember to come back. Actually, I probably want to leave that open for some time because I do want something, anything out in this area. <laughs> so we're gonna get that full of air. Unless we took air from in here. Produce harder! We got so many people, so we've almost got 20 people. Which is good. We're about fifth way done to the uh, first population related milestone. So let's see what we can throw in here. We have a bench for sitting, the treadmill, which I kind of wish uh, produced power. It's like a gerbil treadmill kind of a thing. So I wish that they were using that to, I don't know, at least cover the power that this room requires. Water video screen. Is that different than the other screen? Or is this other one called a video screen as well? Yeah, it's a video screen. Hello! Trade ship. I don't recognize that icon. I'm gonna say like weapons and stuff. Freelance industrial. Okay, so supplies. Oh, but it has one gun. A 40 rate. Okay. We could talk. Uh, we have eight medicine. Let's go ahead and sell maybe eight of the plants. We actually need to get ourselves another uh, uh, workbench for the lab that makes the medicine. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but we needs it. I kind of wish there was a, okay. Shift click to trade for multiple. Alright, there we go. Get a couple out of there. I see a flaw in this. What? What is this? Can I take one out? No. I need you to cover... Fine. Coin for a coin. So that'll give us... It'll give us up to 200. So that doesn't quite cover the cost of... Pull this guy out. 55? Because they have those commission prices, the percentage, even though the default is 200, it's gonna cost more than that. So... We're getting close though. We're getting close to being able to purchase our first tech blueprint thingy. 
I know, I'm so good at English. Nope, no, no. No, no. This one, yes. What are you called? A workbench. What did I say? Did I say workbench? I'd be super happy if I actually said workbench. Alright, so we're gonna get that workbench in. I think that probably just takes, yeah, bioplastic. I'm aware. And I'd really like to fix that. I don't know if I'll be able to. Because they're so close, you know? There should be a path. Just right there. Like that. That that works in my mind. Why doesn't it work in game mind? Uh, I kind of wish I'd brought this out so we had a nice shape here. It will. So what do we want to build in this area? There's not a whole lot in the way of... Uh, stuff to be working on out here so the workers don't have all that far to go till to their bed once we expand out you know this way or out this way then a bed would make sense in this area but we don't need it quite yet all right so we were doing this so a fountain a plant let's give them a treadmill see it's like a gerbil kind of treadmill. I apologize if you hear my cat. She just spontaneously likes to sing the song of her people at the top of her lungs. Um, so if you hear it, my apologies. These benches are in such weird positions. Like this one is staring straight at the gerbil treadmill. That one. That's the way I want it facing. And then we'll go ahead and put a TV right over here. It's taken off. See ya. Stick that and then a water fountain. Get their get some water after all that exercise. We got more coin, which is super exciting. Where are we at? Can I see that here? Hmm, yes. 222 coin is what we're at now. Which is good. Luckily when they come with the uh, the tech, we can trade coin and other items. So that'll be good. Let's see. We don't have too much ore, which is good, and we don't have much in the way of starch backed up. Hopefully this uh this medical plant will uh be converting into medical supplies at a better rate now that we have a second one. We do have what two uh nurses? Doctors? What are they called in here? Um, medics. Duh. God. Way to space a name. So, this is where we came in two days ago. Uh, we started the episode and that's where we got these two people. Uh, an exercise bar. Which is good. Somebody could come work out. The problem with these and why I'm so hesitant to build these multi-domes is as soon as you build the bar, no one works out anymore. <laughs> It just turns into this like waste of space because everyone goes to the bar. It sounds about right, but it doesn't make me any less bitter that it's happening that way. <laughs> I like seeing them running in this thing. I think it looks funny. <laughs> but no, no, they'd rather go get drunk. But again, that makes sense. Would you rather hang out with friends at a bar or go work out? Hmm. I should go back to the gym, but it's so hard once you fall out of the habit. You have like this reminder in the back of your mind like, you know, you have a gym membership, you should probably go back. And the other part of you is like, oh god, no. But once you're like in the habit, it's just what you do. But it's getting back into the habit. That's so hard. <laughs> I'm so sad I fell out of the habit in the first place. Because it's been weeks. Uh, that we were just like, okay, this week we should start going back to the gym. Nope. To be fair, lots happening in my life that kind of makes it so these things can't go the way I want them to. So that's only a little bit my fault. Oh, you know, I just realized if we remove this, we lose all of this power and water. <laughs> yeah, we're going to definitely have to rethink how that's designed to make that work the way I want it to. I'm excited we got a multi-dome though. I wonder if we can uh, get it built up. Was I not on four? 
Uh, that's weird. Oh, maybe because the trader came. What is this thing? Semiconductor. Alright, so since... Oh, I can't tell how many spares we have. Manufacturing lots. This guy? No, this guy. Mmm, Daryl. <laughs> oh, oh, thanks. Thank you. If you could have popped up a couple seconds ago, that would have been nice, but no, no. You had to wait until I had to manually go look. Alright, so... I don't know why spares are still having such a problem, but I guarantee it's because I keep building stuff. <laughs> Who is this? Okay, you were injured at the beginning of last episode. Would you people learn how not to injure yourself while you're in the mine? God, you'd think there'd be procedures and you guys could follow it to make this less risky, but apparently not. You're always over there injuring yourselves. I wonder if this will get full tonight. Or er, today? Being such day? <laughs> uh, where- oh, did, oh, geez. I thought there was like a meteor or something following. So this is the same type of ship as last time. Ooh. We could get a giant solar panel. We can't afford it. And your commission is rubbish. Um, out of all of the blueprints or patents, um, I think the solar panel is like mm, the one I want the least. It's because they work so not well. <laughs> I would probably prefer to get the giant turbine or the bots. Because if we could get driller bots whose only purpose is to be out here getting ore, that'd be fantastic super collector so that'd pull a lot of water not really a problem yeah there's only a couple that I actually really want and the rest are gonna be purchased for the milestone aspect of it <laughs> large collectors can't say that would be bad though so we got that one full okay so we'll go ahead and throw up another one of those see ya but did we get everything done in our nope we have two bioplastics that we need. So are we getting a point where we have starch? Yeah. So let's go ahead and build ourselves another one of those. Yes. So now we can uh, split up the workload of the starch. So we can get all the bioplastic and all the metal. Yes. What did that need? Metal? That happened really fast. Yay! We have a biodome. Uh, not a biodome. Multi-purpose dome. <laughs> Just doesn't have the same ring. The multi-dome. Yeah, check that guy out. Like a person hamster wheel. And they get to look at space while they do it. And worry that one of these scrapes is just too deep. So, I guess that's gonna be it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, let me know. And if you want to see the next one, check the description down below for the upload schedule. And until next time, have a wonderful day!